thank you everybody thanks for joining me to this third part of the uh, let's call exercise of the lesson number four and quickly we are going to explain how to use uh, in uh, doing uh, daily trading uh, Fibonacci fan or, or a, a speed line as already explained to you in the lesson number four speed lines and Fibonacci are exactly the same they can be traced they can be drawn exactly the same way with only, only one difference that the speed line says they have an angle of 33 and 66 degrees while Fibonacci those total lines gonna be inclined at 38 and 62 so it's gonna be between those two lines this is the only difference to draw, let's draw these two lines in our perhaps this is our trend uh, let, let, let's do it so if we're gonna use this one and this is our trend uh, this is our major trend let's say okay and uh, we want to do that so just this this one and this one uh, is to this one should go up there but assume that this one it's fine uh, no worries but this is just to understand how to draw uh, speed lines so this is the max the, uh, the, ma the minimum value that we have got so this is the base of our this is the depth let's assume this the depth of our triangle so if we're gonna divide the depth of this triangle by three as explained to you in the, in the lesson number four part two and we are gonna trace these two lines that theoretically are supposed to be inclined respectively to the uh, respectively of uh, 33 degree and 66 degree we can find we can we can see that this trend line the first one worked as uh, worked as uh, retracement support of the price so the price retracement was support to the uh, the one third line from the top from the from the base of this triangle now again we need to apply the same concept perhaps to another you know this one we need to do any time that there is a peak we need to do like this, this process so again this one can work as support it works as support for this one but not for this one and again assuming that we are going to divide this <laughs> this is our triangle again divide this one by three and then we are going to connect those those two lines by the one third point of this depth with the starting point of the trend we can use those two lines as support and the resistance is if there are any for the set for the setback of the price or for the price retracement of a trend again now let's use uh, fibonacci just uh, quickly with the fibonacci uh, spread the fan it's gonna work exactly the same let's do it for this peak as we said before and oh, uh, oh perhaps this one let's say this one is for this one actually let's do this one this one fibonacci did not work i mean the this this uh, this criteria did not work because uh, uh, because we were expecting that the price was going to be supported uh, on this level this is the maximum that we can allow generally this is the uh, 62, 62 degrees so it's 0 0.618 but it went off with this one so this is a could have been a warning for us because there's something wrong i mean generally when it breaks this level it, it can go even back to the starting point of the of the trend so it's it's it, so this is the, the, the it just a uh, it's a warning for us this is what we have to know but it didn't bounce back to this level generally it bounced back on the between the this this level 0.382 and 0.618 the most common is 0.5 that is a fibonacci number if you're gonna do it to this one as you can see this one was bounced back to this this exactly to the blue one so the blue this 0.618 worked and this 0.618 is supposed to be the 62 degree so if you're gonna do for the next one that is this one what we can see, we can see that exactly the 0.5, the 50 percent, uh, it is almost 45, 45 degree. It's supposed to be 45 degree. Uh, it worked properly as as support. Thanks uh, for uh, listening. Thanks for watching this video. I hope that was clear uh, for you guys. And if you have any doubt, just please rewatch uh, again. Uh, the video and the lessons but this is it seems to be a um, very easy concept so let's use again fibonacci uh, fun and uh, speed lines as support and resistances thanks thank you